Now we're back in the kitchen with Nisha. And Nisha, this is just my kind of favourite food. I absolutely love it. But you came to doing this quite, it's quite a, a strange route, if you like. You were a lawyer for, tw <laughs> a solicitor for 20 years. I was a barrister a for barrister 20 years. For 20 That's years. right. That's right. And so only two years ago. And the reason I did it is because I'm really passionate about demystifying Indian food. I think what you get in restaurants is gorgeous, mm. but it's not how we eat at home. So I started oh. um, some restaurants on that basis, on the basis of how we actually eat when the curtains are drawn. And, okay, uh, so this is real authentic. It's thing. really authentic. Mm. So I'm making a tangy Goan black treacle salmon dish. Right, lovely. And that I did amazing. say that's a lot of words, but it's not many ingredients. <laughs> it's really simple. We're starting the dish with some mustard seeds. Can you see these yellow sure. mustard seeds? Yep. Now, one of the cardinal rules of creating any kind of curry is that you've got to fry your seeds. Ah. So I always say it's like a really expensive scented candle. Till you've lit them, <laughs> they don't release the aroma that you want from them. Gotcha. That's a great analogy. So what <laughs> I have here um, are seeds that have been fried. And can you see that they've turned black? Yes. So quite different. But what's lovely is that they release this lovely nutty flavour. Right. So like that, they're bitter and mustardy. Yeah. Like this, they taste of the most beautiful hazelnuts you can imagine. Mm. It's fascinating. It's that, incredible, isn't it? It's like alchemy, really. Yeah. Um, into that, really simple tin tomatoes. Right. My, I'm a really lazy cook, Lorraine, and so anything takes more than 20 minutes, I get a bit bored. <laughs> so you know. it's fast. It's good. Yeah. Any curry is based on a three-spice formula. Right. So we've got the mustard seeds. The mother and father of all curries are turmeric and chilli powder. Yeah. So turmeric is a fantastic, earthy... And I think it's the defining spice of curry, mm. mother of all curries. And there's some amazing... Well, there's some amazing research at the moment that's talking about the kind of anti-inflammatory health benefits yes, of turmeric. I was reading that, that it's supposed to be very good for you. So this is, this is healthy as it's well. It's healthy. And the Love truth it. is, try and throw this into stews if you can, because it's... Oh, yeah, it's uh, health idea. by stealth. Yeah. Um, a little bit of chilli powder just because we want a little background of smoke, not heat. I hate hot curries. Do you? I'm a failure, <laughs> aren't I? I love them. I love them. Not, too, not so that it's blistering, but, uh, yeah. Just Do you really? Yeah. Have you been to India? I have, and I love it. Absolutely love it. I could live there quite happily, um, as happy as a clam, eating all day. My word. <laughs> it's, quite, it's quite an affront to the senses, isn't oh, it? I, I think you either it. love Absolutely it or hate it. it. Secret ingredients. Ooh. In Goa, they use a lot of tamarind. Right. In Birkenhead, I use black treacle Perfect. and lemon juice, which is gorgeous. <laughs> it gives it a lovely kind of rich, dark sweetness. Oh, so it's a great tip. And this sauce that I'm creating here, honestly, I'm putting some poached salmon in, just salmon pieces. Right. Oh, gosh, I'm splashing everywhere. Doesn't matter. Doesn't I'm, matter. I'm good at cleaning up. I'm not good at cooking, <laughs> but I can clean up really well. <laughs> That's a skill to have. That, this is one that I've just done a little bit early because you need to cook those tomatoes down. Oh, that looks down. amazing. Look at that. Yeah. Rule number two is tomatoes have got to go brown. Right. Now, this is where we just throw things in and you can throw whatever you have in your fridge leftover-wise. I'm going to go in with, sorry, a little bit of shredded um, spinach. Beautiful. That will wilt beautifully, just mm. become silky kind of green ribbons. And then in with our poached spinach. And all the while... I have had some rice cooking. Ah, oh, fantastic. And you were saying you're putting salmon in there, but you can put chicken in there, you can put whatever you like. Absolutely. Really? Prawns. Yeah, prawns, yeah. You can put peas from the freezer in and they will cook off. So it's really giving you an idea of how to create a really fantastic kind of go and hot beautiful. tangy sauce mm. into which you can put amazing. whatever's in your fridge. Sure. Salmon is beautiful, though, because it's got that delicacy automatically and then you get those strong flavours coming in. It's, it's just a win-win, really. Um, the pea... Most of the questions that I get in relation to food are in relation to rice. Right. This is my tip. One cup of rice, one mug, Lorraine okay. mug, will <laughs> feed, <laughs> feed a family of four very well. And the, the proportion is one cup of rice to two cups of water. Uh -huh. What you do is you boil it until it's nearly dry. When you panic, you put the lid on it, you switch the heat off, and you leave it, as I say, on the naughty step for 10 minutes and that rice will cook itself. Perfect. So the point at which you start to panic, lid on, heat off, leave it alone. Sounds and good. we are yes. done as soon as that bubbles that through. That looks amazing. Now, let's give amazing. this a go. I so, love this for breakfast as well. <laughs> do you know, it's incredible, because a billion people eat curry for breakfast. Of course they do. Lunch, supper. And they're right. They're right, too, so do. <laughs> Fantastic grub. Oh, that looks brilliant, Nisha. It's absolutely gorgeous. OK, so... Mm. A yum, little yum, bit yum. of pomegranate and a little bit of coriander. That looks fantastic. And there we go. Oh, thank you so much. It's beautiful. I've got my fork and everything. This looks fabulous. Mm. I hope it doesn't burn your mouth. It takes oh, a heat. That is great. 
Oh, I'm glad you like it. Are you getting the it's treacle? It's so full of flavour. It's absolutely brilliant. And you're right. Because I was thinking salmon, I'm not sure about that. It really works, yeah. doesn't it? It's because it's such a tame, kind ingredient, mm. isn't it? Mm. And then you've got the boldness of the... Um, I'm glad oh, you took it. This is great. That. Will you please come back? <laughs> I would love to come back. Yeah, come back to see you very, very soon. <laughs> Will you show this enthusiasm with my food next time? Yeah. I'll go to heaven happy. It's brilliant. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank That's you. great. Don't let anybody touch this. It's all for me.